I just got here to the White Mountains in New Hampshire. It's my first time in the White Mountains and I'm so excited. I'm staying in the Franconia State Park, which has a trailhead for the main trail that I'm gonna do, which is tomorrow. I'm gonna summit Mount Lafayette and do the Franconia Ridge Trail. So I believe there's three total summits on this, this hike and one of them is like 5,200 feet. So I'm pretty excited about that. But tonight I'm just hanging out, chilling. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a tent that I have. And uh, I'm, I'm more of a hammock camper, but being it's a little cooler up here, I wanted to bring a tent just to make sure that if I you know, wanted to be on the ground or maybe it's a little warmer, I don't have all the air underneath me that I could do so. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to show you a, a tent that I have and try to test it out, show you the setup and all that. I've used this tent several times and so far I like it. I wanted to try it out tonight and see exactly what it's made of. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons, or at least my opinion of the pros and the cons. We'll talk about some of the features and we'll go from there. One of the most important things to do when you're setting up a tent is pick the right location. And fortunately, this location here in Franconia State Park, uh, Site 95, is absolutely wonderful. Um, but with a tent, you're on the ground. So, you gotta be careful rocks. You don't wanna tear your tent. You also don't wanna lay on a rock overnight. I have all this open space right here and my fire pit back there. I could lay here. I could, I could set the tent up here. But if you look a little closer, it doesn't look like it would be the most comfortable. Go up this little hill here. And I think right there would be perfect. No rocks, no big sticks, nothing that's really going to harm the tent. A good view of the fire. First thing you want to do is put a tarp down, just in case it rains or there's anything sticking up out of these leaves. I don't want it to damage my tent. I'm gonna set it up here. It's a little easier, get around everything, and then I'll just pick it up, move it over to the tarp. Comes with a nice carry sack. It's not a compression sack, but it does have a, uh, a drawstring cord. The only thing about the bag is you gotta keep track of it. I kinda like how hammocks do it where they make the bag a part of the hammock. It'd be nice if they made the bag kind of, you know, part of the tent. But I, I don't know that I've ever seen a tent that does that. I just think that would be a good idea. This is semi-freestanding tent. And we have the one pole and the whole tent basically stands up off that one pole. As you can see, there's the orange clips and the orange strap here. And that's color coded so that you know exactly where to attach the orange poles. You have the orange pole on the orange strap. a little pressure on it so it doesn't pop out. And there you go. Excellent titanium stakes with reflective string and in a triangle formation so they don't spin in the ground.
Let's get this fly on. We have some raindrops. Again, the fly color coded. So you right you know right where to strap everything. The best way to do this is to follow your seams. If you get confused, then that's easy to do. So if you follow your seams, they should lie somewhere where there's a pole. Look how easy this is. This can be very frustrating at times, putting the fly on. Done. You don't need a separate stake for this one. Just hook it to the stake that you're securing the tent with and then pull it taut. You wanna make sure to pull the fly away from the tent when you're putting your stake in on the fly, on these sides, that way you have lots of ventilation. If you don't have the ventilation, this is a very small tent and it, you will get condensation. And if you look under the fly, you'll see this guy here and that snaps right in there. That'll keep it in place. Now you just go around, pull everything nice and taut. Make sure your tarp is under the rain fly. You don't want that exposed, especially if you're expecting rain and there's definitely rain in the area. And here's just a better view of the seams being basically on the poles. One there, here, there, there. It's on the underside of the tarp are these little Velcro straps. Now, you don't have to use these, but I would recommend it because if you get a good wind, once in a while it'll pull one of your corners loose. And then if these Velcro straps aren't on there to save it, you're gonna have a wet tent. So I go ahead and do them. Nice and simple and easy. And these straps are adjustable, so you can get them nice and taut. And that's it. I'd say if you're hustling, you could deploy this, this whole setup in less than 10 minutes, as long as you've done it before. Any tent that you're either videoing or you've never done before, it's gonna take a little longer, but it's one of the things I love about this tent. After you've set it up a couple of times, it's really fast. I mean, really fast. Velcro to make sure it's water tight. I'm not sure if that's a YKK zipper or not. Usually it says it on there. So that's what we're looking like inside. So this is the one area you gotta be careful with a tent like this is make sure your air mattress isn't too big. But tell me if that's not a perfect fit. You can't beat that. It's perfect. All right, it's been raining for, it's been raining heavy for six or seven hours. Well, that's it guys. I'm tucking in for tonight. It's been a long day of traveling. I can't wait to get up in the morning and get on this mountain. Good morning. A little bit of a restless sleep, but got some sleep. Sun comes up earlier here in New Hampshire because we're so far east. Tent is perfect. Air mattress is great. Rained all night. It might still be raining a little bit, but completely dry. Let's get up and get some coffee. So I want to show you something on this tent. I 
don't know if you can see that, but it's completely saturated on the inside underneath here. That's not a good thing. I don't know if that's the fact that it rained all night long and this material has let the water seep through it. More probable though is that it's condensation because of this very close space, but I mean, you can see the vents are fairly good. Nice size vents. So I'm, I'm unsure, but if there's water on the inside of this, it, you know, it can start basically dripping down on me. And there's a lot of water on it. The zipper is getting stuck. It's getting stuck on the flat here, and I think it's because it's so wet, it's sticking, but. See that? That's where I was wiping it. Not good. So it's been, I don't know, um, I've been out hiking all day. It's, it's uh, six, it's been 12 hours or so. It doesn't look like there's any condensation still on the inside, but I wanna see if the sleeping bag uh, and my stuff in here got wet from that condensation. And it didn't. Everything's completely dry. As far as the pros to go with this tent, I think the simple assembly is one of the highlights and the color-coded poles and cords. I think it makes it really simple to get this thing up in a really short amount of time. If you were really quick, you could get this done in less than five minutes. The tent's a semi-freestanding tent, which means it basically can hold its shape without staking it out. And it just complements the fact that it has such an easy assembly. The stakes are great as far as the shape goes. I just wish they were a little longer. If you were in snow or in mud or some type of you know landscape where there was a lot of loose material on top, those short little stakes aren't gonna do anything for you. However, the tent is semi-freestanding, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. I like the fact that they have the reflective material on several parts of the tent. When you're moving into your camp area at night, the reflective surfaces really make a difference at letting you know where things are. I really like the quick snaps that they have for the rain fly and even the ground tarp if you have that. The size of the tent is perfect for fitting most air mattresses. Your trail weight, if you were taking this on the trail, is only a pound and 15 ounces, so that's pretty good considering you have everything there. My two concerns or cons with this tent is the fact that the condensation was so so intense. I mean, really intense. It, granted, it poured all night long. I can't believe the condensation didn't drip down on top of me. It did not, not even a little bit. And so I think I need to do some further testing with that, but I definitely want you to be aware condensation was a big issue. Also, the zipper on the rain fly and the tent itself, for that matter, they, the flaps, especially after they got damp and wet, they got stuck in the zipper often. It's an expensive tent. If you're carrying this on your back, I think it'll be worth every dollar. And the reviews, as you can see, are high, and that's for a pretty good reason. REI makes some pretty good stuff, and this tent is no different. This is not a paid advertisement for REI. I bought this tent with my own money, and my experiences are completely genuine. There's no agenda here except to tell you about the gear that I have and what I think of it. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you have any experience with this tent? Um, the only problem I have with it was that, you know, that condensation inside, but it didn't get on my stuff. Um, but there was enough of it that you could see it, like with those handprints I had uh, this morning. So I'm pretty sure that was condensation. I, you know, I don't I think the fabric is probably fine as far as being waterproof or water resistant, but, uh, you know, because of that, it seals everything on the inside too. I just thought with the, the space on these, on the rain fly, the air here, I mean, it didn't feel muggy inside. It felt like there was good ventilation, but uh, apparently not. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Hope you guys got something out of this video. Share this video with someone you may think will get something out of it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome week.